Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanna. Today I am going to be doing a three looks, one palette featuring the Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration, which is actually the only palette collaboration I have ever purchased. I usually do not purchase collaborations <laughs> with brands and influencers. And it's also the only palette I've purchased this year. And as you can see, it is very pretty. It's got this sort of holographic, uh, faux, like sort of snakeskin cover here. It kind of looks like a, a clutch that you would carry around. And on the inside, it looks like this. Lots of warm tones, but lots of beautiful colors in here that you wouldn't necessarily find in a warm toned palette. So I am doing three looks that I am going to start right now. So we're going to take a little bit of this primer, which is tinted. So I don't know how much I'm going to need. Kind of looks like a concealer base. So yeah, it's very pigmented. I barely squeezed any out. God, I barely used any product. So even though this is extremely small, I'll get quite a few uses out of it. Now, I'm gonna go into the eyeshadow. And I'm going to take Ginger, which is a matte warm brown. It's kind of an orange brown. I'm not gonna use the Anastasia brush yet. I'm going to use my one of my own brushes, which is a Wet n Wild brush. I didn't set the primer. We're gonna see how it works with an unset primer. Uh, and one of the looks will set the primer. So even on an unset lid, it's really not having any trouble blending. Requires very little product. I'm basically just tapping my brush in once. And that's how much product is on the brush. You can see how I've, I put it down and it's concentrated. But as you blend, it blends really easily. I'm going to take a little bit of edges. It's a little bit of a brighter orange. And take that on a smaller brush. So the Sigma brush. I'm just going right into the crease. Again, only dipped in once. I can see in the pan that this one is a little bit more powdery. I'm gonna take more ginger on the small blending brush here, just so that I can blend the two together. I'm going to take Credit, which is a matte warm brown. It's like a chocolate brown. That's going to go in the outer crease and outer corner. The same brush. Actually, now I'm going to switch brushes for a moment. I'm going to take the Anastasia brush. I'm going to take the shader end. I'm going to start pressing that on the outer corner. I'm already seeing like so many different color possibilities here, which is 
wonderful. That's what you want in a palette where you can just look at it and go, oh my God, I want to combine this. I want to combine that. If you don't see that when you look at a palette, chances are it's not going to inspire you. I'm going to take the fluffy end and start blending. I might take my small Sigma brush again, but for now, this is what I'm going to use. I think this this brush is already shedding a little bit. <laughs> These brushes are not, not my favorite. They are a little bit poor quality. So now I am going to go back to that Sigma brush so that I can blend that brown shade up a little bit with more precision. I'm going to go over the edges with edges. <laughs> uh huh. Take that first brush I started with and take ginger. On the rest of the lid, because I've been dying to use this shade, I'm going to take Sponsored, which is a green-brown duochrome. I'm using that on the brush this came with. Oh god, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. It looks even prettier on the eyes than it does swatched. And because it does have that brown shift to it, when I press it over the brown, it's just going to, it's just going to blend into it. I don't really have to worry about blending the two lid shades together. They're just gonna blend together. <laughs> oh god, that's so pretty. Oh. Uh, on the lower lash line, I'm just going to kind of mimic what I have going on through the crease. So I'm gonna take a little bit of credit, which is the darker brown, the darkest brown. And I'm going to blend that out with a mix of ginger and edges. On the inner corner, I'm going to take Soleil. And this is like a golden peach dual chrome shimmer. And I'll put a little bit of trust issues. This looks like it's a little bit of a white gold dual chrome. I'll put that on the brow bone. It's a little glittery. It's okay, I don't really mind a glittery brow bone. I know some people do, but I don't care. I'm gonna try this NYX felt tip eyeliner. The dual ended one. It's got a felt tip on one side. We're gonna see how this goes. Oh this is this is really dry. <laughs> it's really dry. Yeah that's not gonna work. 
Okay, so that was the NYX Vinyl Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm using the Lash Princess, Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. So that's look one. And this is the full face for look number one. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll move on to number two. Okay, we're gonna go straight into look two. I'm going to start with the shade Supreme, which is a matte bright pink. So what I'm actually gonna do is take the, uh, I'm gonna take this side of the brush that's a packing side and start using that to press this on into my crease area and then I'll blend it after. It's not that you can't go in with a pigment and a blending brush. That should be absolutely fine, but for me personally, I want to go in with a packing brush and then blend it. Because pressed pigments, in case you didn't know, <laughs> they are really pigmented. So I did prep my eyelids with the Anastasia primer, but I set my eyes this time and I just used an eyeshadow that's close to my skin tone for those purposes. I'm gonna take it up a little bit higher, pack and blend, pack and blend. Look at that. Looks like eyebrow hair. So I don't think I'm going to use that just because that's giving me a bit of an issue. Might need to be washed first or something, or that might make it even worse. Who knows? So I'm just using a Real Techniques brush that's really domed. I'm going to take the shade that's right next to that. It's called Pinker, and it's almost a satin shade. It's a bit of a deeper pink than Supreme, and it definitely is not completely matte. I see a little bit of shimmer in it. I'll take that on my small blending brush, my small Sigma blending brush. I'm going to go lower down. On the outer corner, I am taking Big Wig, which is a matte, sort of mid-tone, neutral purple. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. I'm gonna go back to a packing brush at first. Purples are difficult to formulate, so we'll see how this goes. This is also a pressed pigment. All of the ones I'm using right now are pressed pigments. I'm going to put that on the inner corner as well and form a halo eye. Taking my small blending brush to just kind of blend out the color a little bit. This color is a little bit more stiff and dry in the pan for me 
meaning I do have to pick up a little bit more of it. And I find that it's better to pack it on than it is to blend. It doesn't want to move around as much as some of the other colors do, if that makes sense. It kind of just wants to go in one spot. So it is very pigmented, but it's not as blendable. It's not as movable. On the edges of that, I'm taking Shookington, which is a little bit more cool toned than Big Wig, and it's also a shimmer. Taking that on a packing brush. So that's going over the edges of Big Wig and a little bit into the empty space that's on the lid, but not all the way. In the very center, I'm taking Dwalas. Dwalas. <laughs> Can I say that right? Dwalas. And that is a very beautiful metallic gold. Um, I think I'm just going to take my little finger, press that in the center. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to want to use it wet or not. Let's just see. It's fine just me patting it in like this. Although if you wanted to use it wet, I'm sure that would look beautiful. I'm just tapping over the edges of Shookington to make sure that these get blended. And then what I'm going to want to do is Take my really tiny blending brush and shooking tin, and I am just going to tap the edges on each lid. And then do the same with Dwalas. And I actually do prefer to do this with a fluffy brush because less product gets placed than when you use a packing brush. So the blend actually looks a little bit nicer. I'm just going to fix up the crease a little bit. So I'm going to take Pinker, which is the darker pink. And then Pinker, which is the very first pink we went in with. I'm going to use Shookington, which is the metallic purple on the lower lash line. It's actually kind of a blurple, a blue purple. <laughs> and put Dwalas wallas on the inner corner. Once again, putting trust issues, which is this glittery white gold on the brow bone. And using the Essence Lash Princess Sculpt Volume Mascara. And this is eye look number two. And 
this is the full face for look number two. And now we'll get into the final look. Okay, we're gonna do look three now. And again, I have the eyeshadow primer on and I did set my lids again. I'm gonna start with a shade pinker here. That's the one that looks to be a satin shade because it's not a full on matte and it's a deeper pink shade. And I'm going to start by putting that in my crease with a fluffy brush. So you can see how a pressed pigment performs with a fluffy brush. You can, you can use it with a packing brush or a fluffy brush should be okay. And the pressed pigments did stain my lids when I took these shades off after look two, but it wasn't that bad and it, it was basically gone by the time I woke up. So this shade on a blending brush through the crease is working really well and it's blending really well. On a smaller brush, I'm going to take Credit, which is the matte warm brown. And that's just going lower down in the crease, blending that together with the pinker shade. Just gonna take a little bit of the eyeshadow primer and clean this up a little bit. And I'm just using that brush to go over right above that new line I created there. Just to make it look a bit smoother. I am going to take Lituation. And this appears to be a cool toned uh, metallic taupe. It has a very slight purple tone to it. And I'm using a Wet n Wild small concealer brush, which is the same kind of brush I used with the eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer, but this is a, a different brush. It's a clean brush. To put that on the lid. I'm gonna leave a space at the front portion of the lid about the inner third. I'm going to take a little bit of e.l.f. glitter glue primer on the empty spot on my lid. I'm going to go in with Zam which is a pressed glitter. It appears to be like a golden peach, similar to Soleil, but a little bit brighter. And just press that on with a finger. I'm gonna do the same on the other side before I go in with a little brush and make it a bit more precise. So it, it looks a bit like a copper on the lid. It's very, very glittery, so I would recommend using something sticky to keep it on. Because I could see this definitely kind of going everywhere. Taking that same Wet n Wild 
small concealer brush. I'm just going to gently pat that in a few areas that I missed with my finger. The last shade that I haven't used in the palette is Wigglies. And this is a really beautiful shimmery red. And that's going to go on the lower lash line. I'm going to put Trust Issues, the white gold, on the inner corner and brow bone. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner in Swerve, which is a gel black eyeliner. I'm just going to draw that on my top lash line right until I get to the glitter portion and then I'm going to stop. I'm using the Essence Get Big Lashes Waterproof Mascara. And this is the finished look for eye look number three. And this is the full face for look number three. I hope you enjoyed these tutorials with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette. This is a really beautiful palette, so I'm happy to have made it my only eyeshadow purchase of the year. Well, only eyeshadow palette purchase of the year. And I'm sure that you will see many other looks featuring this palette here on my channel. Let me know if you enjoy the palette, if you've purchased it, or if you're planning to purchase it. And of course, I'll have all of the makeup details down below in the description, as well as other places where you can find me on the interwebs. And if you would like to subscribe, there's a button down below where you can do so. If you don't want to, that's okay too. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.